Hello and welcome to Women Today. Thank you so much for joining us always. My name is Christine Amira. This is a show that brings you content to inspire, encourage and motivate you. And thank you so much for owning your journey. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. And uh, as usual, we are always trying to make our stories better and to be able to inspire as many people in the modern settlements, rural areas, uh, slum areas, wherever we can be, wherever we can reach out, wherever we can be able to make a difference in the world, we are ready. And International Day of the Girl Child really challenged us in this manner because on that day we talked about an ideal situation, an ideal world for the women and for the girl child especially growing up, the opportunities that they may have along the journey, will they be able to access education, healthcare, uh, safety, what about all these things here and there. But then I was also challenged as a founder of Women Today to think about what impact Women Today has in not only promoting the girl child but also the boy child. We know that we shall not and we cannot just uh, empower one gender and ignore another kind of gender because that would be detrimental to our society. We are mothers and we are sisters and we are daughters and all these people around us, we are all surrounded by the male gender. And so Women Today is challenged through the leadership of different women to see how we can be able to support also both genders, both girl child and the boy child growing up. And education became one of the biggest pillars that we saw and we believe that we'll be able to empower both the male and the female uh, population of this country and also for the entire Africa. The growth of Africa depends on the youth and Women Today is really charged at this time to be able to promote this. So in regards to this, Women Today was really challenged and we decided to partner with Mind Me International uh, on their project like Boom Tani, which really tries to empower and uh, provide access to education uh, for all the children in Madare. Um, and today we are going to be in the area, we are actually at Madare right now, uh, at uh, Laibum Tani space right here and we are going to talk to the founder and he's going to talk about all the different visions he had in, in terms of promoting both the male and female gender and women today is charged today uh, to really ask you to also promote this cause. Can you, if you could kindly promote, uh, it's been a tough year for all of us, COVID-19 has really struck this area we, and, and, and there will be challenges in terms of water and sanitation, access to education, electronic learning was a problem and maybe you who's watching today can be able to share uh, and, and whatever you can in terms of proceeds, it could be in terms of uh, textbooks, clothing, water, uh, water dispensers, uh, and as much as you can. So this is a call uh, for action. And as I welcome John uh, to kindly, uh, you know, tell us more about this program and what they do. John? Hi Christy, nice to see you after such a long time. Did you finish your project? Eh, that's a story <laughs> for another day. <laughs> story for another day. So, anyway, so we're here about Mind Me International. Maybe you can tell us, uh, when did you start Mind Me International? What is the inspiration behind it? Mind Me International was uh, started off, uh, duly registered around four or three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, its vision or its main objective is to empower communities through sustainable development. The idea for Mind Me came, you know, as, as you know, I was, I was out in the field, I was doing some pictures, I was doing some videos as well. And, and you realize that at times we really have to try and reach out to someone else and care about someone else who's not just your brother, who's not your sister, your blood sister, who's not your mother, who's not your, you know, your father. And actually saying that, you know what, that is also my brother. I can be my brother's keeper. And I can actually go out there, out of my comfort zone. And I can actually be able to try and, and make some, you know, small changes that we can. I am greatly inspired by the words of the, of the lady from Calcutta. 
who says that we cannot all do great things, but we can do small things with great love. And I feel that it's a clarion call for everyone who really and truly believes that we can be able to come together to, to, um, to empower communities. But straight from the heart, straight from the heart. And, and, and really, I, I, I do hope that, that with the work that we started with Mind Me, uh, that we can be able to achieve that. Yes. Yeah. So you know, even today, I think we've talked about this over and over oh, with yes, you. Yes. Mm. Began to mentor, inspire women, right? And you're doing a good job yeah. with it. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Thank you, you for are. That. Mm. Uh, so now the thing is, we are challenged to see how, for example, we can support both male and women, not just just the women alone, because we can't empower women and then also forget about the men. Yes. Uh, in this society, sustainable growth is what you talked about, and it's sustainable to empower, educate, enlighten, encourage both genders. Mm. So education, I'm aware, is one of your pillars, yeah? And that's one thing that we are really looking into supporting uh, for your project. Mm. But then, um, maybe you can talk about, before we go to the education aspect, maybe you can talk about all the other six uh, or seven, I don't know how many, how many... Uh, we, we we have, we have uh, programs, programs, you mean programs. Yes, yes. Within Mind Me International, we have uh, programs. We have six, uh, six programs, mm -hmm. all that are tailored towards the, the, the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. Yeah. And more so during this particular decade, because it's mm -hmm. what we are calling the Decade of Action, yeah. until 2030. Mm -hmm. So the programs we have are, you mentioned education, of course. There is Arts for Empowerment. We have a fantastic progr program within Arts for Empowerment where we train uh, uh, young film, uh, uh, aspiring fi filmmakers and photographers uh, in the informal settlements. We train them on photography and, 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 and videography. We have a collaboration with Canon. There is also another program that we have on climate action and environment. There is also one on women and youth. On the women aspect, we have a program that we have on, uh, on widows. So we are okay. trying to socially, economically empower widows. Mm -hmm. And it has been running for the last one year and it's also been a fantastic program. Uh, we also have one on, social, uh, on, on IT for social impact or tech for social impact. So saying that actually tech is a big thing right now, yes, you can never definitely. escape from it. But saying that you can also take tech mm -hmm. to the marginalized communities and the people can actually learn these particular skills. And what they do with that, when they learn to, uh, to do all those things, they can actually use those, you can, they can use what they've learned to have solutions mm -hmm. or tailor solutions on the issues that they're experiencing in their communities. Last but not least, we have water and sanitation. Water and sanitation is our newest program, and it came because of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic when it started off and we did we, we started off by by, by putting up uh, water and uh, uh, washing facilities yes. in in the, the oh, different yeah. places okay. within uh, Madari? within the community Matare. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, so mm -hmm. you have so many programs how yes. are you able to run all that and so, I know that you still have other engagements yes. around. So 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 in terms of uh, these programs come because of a need basis. You know, you just you just don't start ah, off programs okay. because you know it's uh, it's good to just start a program. So they come because the need is actually coming there. You listen to the community. What does the community tell you that you know they feel that actually something that can be done, and then we add on it. Okay. But right now, and and sort of they're all connected. Okay. When you start with education. It will lead you to women and yes, youth. It will lead you true. to water and sanitation. Yeah. So they are all very much connected. Okay. So even even coming up with those six programs and really trying to push all those things is because of that. The other reason is because different partners who want to come on board also want to maybe they they also they also have their they are passionate in some different okay. spaces. Maybe on women, maybe on uh, you know on on maybe youth on on tech for example on education and they, they want to plug in somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we feel that we can be able to accommodate that. Mm -hmm. That is also very well. Talking of your sponsors, actually, yes, yes. I remember coming for the launch and you had quite a number of sponsors. We, how we, was, how we, was that going? We, we didn't, but, but as, I, as I said, the journey, mm -hmm. when, uh, the, the, the journey of, of starting this organization has not been easy because uh -huh. for me as, as a founder and sort of you're belabored because you have to be able to carry that particular vision. You have to try and go talk to people, try and convince them. But I think, but again, the vision can never stay still. Mm -hmm. The dream cannot stay, stay, stay still. I think it's you who reminded me of a Rwandese in one day yeah. that talks about, you know, you... It's not really Rwandese. It's not Rwandese. Rwandese oh, I've been living a lie now. Me. No, no, no. 
know. I have been living my life. Is that a lady who inspires you yes, who yes. spoke about it, if you can say. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so that particular, I mean, it says that, uh, you know, uh -huh. about that, uh, I remember the words that you build, then they will come. Yes. And for me, that 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 is true because if you if you if you hold off, challenges are there. So what I did is, you know, you strap your boots up mm -hmm. and actually say you're going to try and do this, save some money, mm -hmm. do something, so on and so forth. Okay. So, but we in time we are hoping, and we also still have other partners maybe also who are willing to come on board. For example, now we have maybe even a book partner who came and gave us some books in this particular space. I'll talk yes. about the education program that we have here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and others are still coming on board. Mm -hmm. um, but we are trying to reach out. Where the world is, is that you cannot do things alone. Yeah, you I mean, we need women today. We need what you're doing. We need uh, even the guy who's behind the camera, Meshak. Yes, we all, it has to be a collective responsibility mm -hmm. for us to be able to achieve where we want, even for, for not the country, but even yeah. for Africa. Mm -hmm. And that's a spirit that was set out mm -hmm. even uh, in terms of Pan-Africanism, -Afri yeah. mm -hmm. that we have to move together. Yeah. In South Africa, they call it Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. the collective of, of the belief that we can actually aspire to be, to be bigger mm -hmm. and, and aspire to, to reach so many things but you know, it's interesting with not one individual. The mentality of Africans, or yeah. not just Africans, but everybody yeah. is that politicians and all these other people will come in and solve our problems, but then usually it's ourselves, it's a community oh, yes. mindset to have and realize oh, yes. that we can actually make a change beginning on ourselves. Oh yes. You know? yeah. yeah, I mean that's very interesting you've talked about it because even how we have tailored uh, for example, even the pro programs that we have has been hugely towards in terms of ownership. Mm -hmm. Making sure that you come to a community, present what you can actually do to them, and tell them, okay, this, what, actually ask them what are your issues, what are the problems that you're facing, All right? Mm -hmm. Then after you get those particular issues they are facing, don't go out there and start coming with your own solutions. How about you have a sit down with this particular community and ask them what are the solutions to the issues that you've raised? Okay. And then how can then we come in mm -hmm. for us to actually help you achieve this? Mm -hmm. And what is also interesting for, 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 for organizations and probably individuals who, who really and truly want to even move to this particular space of trying to, 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 to empower communities is that you also have to have an exit strategy. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't do that, then it will always be a hand-me-down situation. Yes. Because be, they'll be waiting to actually be given. Mm -hmm. So that is very, very uh, mm -hmm. well tailored mm -hmm. within our programs. Okay. For example, I'll give you a very good example of, of the program that we have within education. Mm -hmm. I wanted to actually go there. Yes, yes, yes. Like, so we you have can. talked about so many things. Yes, yes, We yes. might actually digress well, yes, because yes. there's a lot to talk about. Yes, yes. Uh, but then talk about the education aspect, which is why we are... Yeah. Really trying to work with you as well to see whether Thank we you. can garner support, you know, in terms of education. Because when you teach people, what is that thing? You don't you teach you give somebody a yeah teach one uh -huh. you, yeah you, you you teach one person you teach the whole community <laughs> yeah that's one yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what we're looking at yeah, yeah but then in the sense that you know if you teach somebody the skills that they need mm. they can able to use it and pass it on to the next and next generation and that's one way of getting sustainable development yes, right yes. education is important we can't really you know underestimate the value of education and that's both for both uh, access to education to both the girls and, and 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 also the boys. But then Corona came and then Corona had said to shift, you know, that we used to have classes, one-on-one um, -on -one classes. And yes. now, wow. Mm. And you had a library established for Corona where you give people books <laughs> mm. and they could read and they could use it as a safe space to study. Uh, coming from a slum area, there's a story you had given me of how maybe uh, young or the youth, you know, don't have a, a home, I mean, a place can study at home and do their homework. They need a safer space, you know, within uh, mm. the slum area that they can mm. visit, read a book at mm. night, mm. Uh, during the weekends, they can spend that time in, in, in a better way. Uh, maybe you can talk about that program, like Boom Tani. Yes, yes, yes. How, is that, how it has been from the beginning to now, mm. uh, the achievements that you've had. I'll, I'll be breaking it down slowly by slowly. Yes, yeah. those were. Well, like Boom Tani is, is mm -hmm. close to my heart as a heart itself. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a quote down there that mm -hmm. says, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. These were words by Wangari Madha. Yes, we Those also. of us who have been privileged to receive education, skill and experience, yes. and even power, must be role models 
for the next generation of leaders. Yes, yes. So, so I mean, those 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 mm -hmm. quotes really embody the, the 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 power of education. And and in terms of 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 the program then called Lai Bumtani, Lai Bumtani stemmed from the need that you know I was I was working around in this particular community, mm -hmm. and I saw how kids after school they go to their small house. They, they, the houses are very very small. They are five by five probably roomed one roomed one single roomed houses yeah. and there is probably a family of five to seven mm -hmm. now that particular child has to do his or her homework there is no space to actually do the homework mm -hmm. so you find that the maybe them there is only one probably a table there that can be used the mom is making jugo karanga to go and sell tomorrow or mandazi the dad was also probably wants to rest his rest his feet after a very very long day so you find the kids are actually seated on the floor trying to do that and they even have you know, it's pretty it's pretty hard for them and that really spoke to me and i said to myself why can't we then mm -hmm. get a safe space for them it does not it does not uh, it does not it does not um, compete with with schools yes. but it is for them to the actually come word. after school yes. you know they come from school they can mm -hmm. be able have their tea have whatever they have mm -hmm. then they can come to this particular space mm -hmm. and they actually then learn mm -hmm. all right this space is where they can do their homework they can be able to have groups. Mm -hmm. So the idea was of Lai Bumtani maybe in a nutshell is I can say that it is aimed at establishing solar powered, mm -hmm. safe mm -hmm. study mm -hmm. community spaces with mm -hmm. internet access. Uh, because internet okay. access is a huge thing right now, right? It has right? become a need now. Yes, yes. We didn't yes. know about that before. Okay, yes, we yes. We knew but then we thought it was going to be a process yes. of maybe five, ten years, a projection. Yes. Yes. But now it has become a need for us to think about internet uh, yes. as a way of children accessing education oh it has yeah, yeah. Maybe you can talk about that with yeah, yeah. so 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 within that now that that has been now the hence now like boomtani like boomtani is is a swahili word that means uh, community library okay so it is that sense of ubuntu it is that mm -hmm. sense of we call uh, umoja mm -hmm. it is that sense of of, of belonging mm -hmm. coming together to one this particular space and 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 really getting education together yeah so that is what we've been able to do but also in terms of ownership so so in, for example in this particular space that we have here we have over 2000 books okay. and they're actually able to learn uh -huh. you know moving yeah. on so I saw actually you target 7 to 18 year olds. Yes, the target is okay. 7 to 18 year olds and they're able to come and they study. They don't go with the books of course, but they mm -hmm. come, they mm -hmm. study, they use them. We have had some really nice uh, stories that even came out since we established this. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the top one of the top boy from this particular area got 408 marks. Yeah, he was admitted nice. to Starehe. Yeah. Oh, it's been and that transformation Danny has also been very important. Mm -hmm. Another very unique model that we have here is because uh, this space is owned by the community. It is run by a youth group okay. that has reformed from crime. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones who run it. And the mm -hmm. idea was that we can sort of create a small uh, neutral Switzerland or yeah. Geneva. Yeah. You know, a place where it is safe for everyone to come, where they have dialogue yeah. with, uh, with the cops, with the authorities, where they have dialogue with their communities. Mm -hmm. And for them also, they are also dignified because they are accepted as a community, as people who are taking care of a space like this. Moving on, of course, is that uh, the model is changing in terms of we want to, we want to set up container libraries. Yeah. Because a container library, probably a 40-foot container, it's a bit expensive, but that can be taken anyway. It can be taken to the informal settlements, it can be taken to the rural area. Still will have solar power as a way of actually sustainability. Because uh, in a lot of these communities, for example, even I can give an example of this particular uh, uh, informal settlement, is that you can the light the, the all illegal connections okay. so at times you can see the light but you cannot see with the light mm. so you see a small flicker there but you can actually not see with it okay. so what that means is that it's because of the illegal connection so there is not enough power for the kids to actually to study, study yeah. yeah so then uh -huh. solar then helps in terms of okay. that the other so reason the why we, of, we, before we you move away mm. sorry the idea of having you said uh counters right the, the, the idea is to have containers containers, containers are shipping okay. containers so that means you're trying to move not just in madare but away from madare yes to yes other yes 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 we are trying to okay. scale it because the need is there mm -hmm. we've had a lot of uh a lot of people even from even across africa even from nigeria uganda who had, uh, probably you can call it benchmarking, but they've actually come and seen that this model can actually be replicated in their countries. 
Okay. So, so that has been a great Pan inspiration. African it is a Pan-African <laughs> movement of, of, of access to education. education. So that's very, very okay. encouraging to actually okay. see that. So we've had some people who come and they actually see the space and they're like, wow, he's actually working. But what really gets them is that the community owns it. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we also do is that we are also hugely in terms of trees. So that's why I said our programs are connected. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that you, I mean, you can as well, you can now see how the space is. We planted trees here. And the idea of planting trees and, and having this space looking like, you know, the, the, it's, I think it's the greenest place we have yeah, in Makare. Yeah, very green. Yeah, I got here and I'm wondering. The, the idea with that was that, uh, was how we planted the trees was that we also, also wanted to get a bit of ownership. Because when, when you plant a tree here, it goes through so much. Uh, you have a goat that wants to eat it, mm -hmm. the seedling, you have people, kids who are playing on it. But the idea was that how about mm -hmm. we get we tell we tell kids who have uh, brothers who've lost maybe their their, their loved ones through maybe uh, you know through the authorities or through you know something really bad why don't we say that this is also like a memorial space okay. so once you plant a tree and you water it every day you're remembering that particular person okay. and look at these trees now yeah. so that has that's what i'm talking about it is all about ownership mm -hmm. you have to make sure that the community owns what you're giving them mm -hmm. otherwise even who tells you that they actually need your help okay. they'll, 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 they'll take them and they will not be able to sustain it yeah. so those are really uh, okay. truly things that we in terms of encompassing okay. and, and, so and now, what it can become okay so now mm. what support uh, are you really uh, asking people to if you could kindly oh, you know, if you could kindly give a hand uh, here and there give what, a hand what, here and what, there. what support is needed to help oh push this idea forward and give access to education to as many young people seven to eighteen year olds to access books to access the internet to access um, and just be in a safe space yes yes yes, yes yes yeah. I mean there is no there is no big or small help. Whatever help can come in is, is needed, but then you're asking what kind of help. Yes. So uh, in terms of that, we of course, if you have books, the simplest books that you actually can have, story books and all those things, we can actually pick those songs from you because we believe that you're still expanding and you will still be able to, you know, put on those things. Uh, computers as well. We talked about it being an internet uh, sort of uh, a tech space in a way. So you have computers, you have. Uh, you have laptops. Uh, even within the community as well, it has also acted as a collection point, even for clothes and yeah, shoes. Okay. So those okay. shoes that you actually don't even use at home, yes. you have a million of them, or even yeah. you have like that you don't use that yeah. even are using, come and then we'll distribute it with the community. Okay. In terms of how, uh, and of how then scaling can also even happen as well, okay. is that if you if, because right now right now the most expensive expensive thing is to refabricate a container buying a container for example is around 300,000 shillings mm -hmm. refabricating it to make sure that it is well insulated mm -hmm. that the benches are you know the, the it is has been well made inside so that you know when the kids sit there it is it is a very nice space for them that is expensive mm -hmm. and even the, the the count for that is actually almost around uh, 3.5 million per container a 40 foot container yeah. having it having solar power all those things mm -hmm. in terms of the design that we have for that particular bit so that's where we are right now mm -hmm. it's a long road to go yeah. uh, but that's the vision you mm -hmm. know what i mean and mm -hmm. and we do say that if you are able to do something if you can be able to see what this can do for 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 for, for not this country but also for for africa yeah and you know what, then you can actually say, I mean, why not? We can try and chip something in. Mm -hmm. In terms of the internet as well, I mean, if you can have, a, because here also we don't have fiber in some of these communities, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we have to rely on very, uh -huh. you know, on the internet that is, uh, you know, you're using your bundles and all those things. If you can have even a providers, uh, mm -hmm. tele telecommunication providers, who can actually say, for one year we'll actually do something and yeah. provide you internet. I mean, it is that, it is, it is a spirit of Ubuntu, yeah. Christian. Yeah. It is what really makes us move forward. Mm -hmm. And you cannot do it alone. Yes, you can start you can something. You can you can you you can build something, mm -hmm. but people have to come, come. <laughs> for it to move forward. Yes, that's true. So that is really and truly what 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 I envision. Okay. And I do hope that it is not it is not, it is a big vision, but but with people really and truly, you yeah. know, being part of it, okay. it becomes yeah. the journey becomes yeah. easy. I 
<laughs> definitely wish you all the best mm -hmm. yeah Thank i wish you. you all the best as women today we would want to put this out there you've had it all you've had it all and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you so much for watching. As we spoke at the beginning of this show today that we are challenged to actually seek ways of empowering, enlightening, motivating, inspiring, and making a change uh, through women today uh, on different spaces, specifically starting with education. And we just spoke to the gentleman uh, who is the one in charge of the founder of Mind Me International. And they spoke about the project that they're having, you know, trying to reach and uh, improve access to education for all the youth, both boys and girls, in Kenya and the entire African region. And he's ha he has a very big vision that we hope to support through the leadership of women and through all the following that we have. Kindly, you can share this as much as you can. Remember to subscribe. You remember to, uh, to, 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 to give and donate uh, whatever you might have in terms of clothing for the space, for the community, for the children. Uh, you can give in terms of food. You can give in terms of uh, solar panels. And uh, the specific project that they're actually trying to uh, fundraise for that will be able to push this further, not just in Madhari, but give access uh, books, uh, internet and all that to as many uh, children as they can in Africa is the fabricated shipping containers. This is a very important project and we look forward to your support. Thank you so much. Thanks once again for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Bye bye. Till next time.